There are other methods to help improve oxygenation. What are your prone positioning options for COVID-19 patients? We interrupt this discussion with some groundbreaking news about the treatment for COVID-19 patients. Let's see what's going on. Doctors are now delaying putting patients on ventilators and instead they're placing them on their stomachs in prone position and giving them 100% oxygen combined allows better blood and oxygen flow. Growing evidence supports the advantages of prone positioning of COVID-19 patients, as this procedure is now recommended by the National Institute of Health Oxygenation and Ventilation Guidelines. Reference to the guidelines is on reference slide at the end of this presentation. Proning therapy has already shown to be beneficial for patients that have extremely severe acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, ARDS occurs when fluid builds up in the tiny elastic air sacs, otherwise known as the alveoli in the lungs, which prevents the lungs from filling with enough air, resulting in less oxygen in the bloodstream. The good news is that the advantage of prone positioning for COVID-19 patients and those that develop ARDS are improved ventilation and perfusion matching, referred to as VQ mismatch, ribs expansion with more curvature to increase that lung volume, overall proving lung function and patient's oxygenation. The photo in the upper left was a 400 pound patient with severe life-threatening ARDS. By placing this patient in the prone position with head placed in a unique positioner contributed to the positive outcome of the case. And speaking of prone positioning, there are a variety of prone positioning options from the very simple to the most sophisticated. Let's take a look. The first type and the most simple pillows, of course, are convenient, though they could be difficult to stabilize the patient and you can't see the patient's eyes. The second type, Probably the most sophisticated is the rotoprone bed. It is a complete bed system that can laterally rotate for patient positioning. But if you are not on a low, if you, or if you are on a low budget, they're expensive to rent. They are not always available for the urgent cases, and you can't see the patient's eyes. Another positioner type is a foam block with cutout for eyes and mouth. It's certainly simple to use but one size may not accommodate different patient face shapes, and again, you can't see the patient's eyes. And the last positioner shows the base cradle support system by Mercury Medical. It's really simple to set up. It's only one head positioner that can be adjusted vertically and horizontally. It's fully adjustable cushion sets, accommodates most adult and pediatric patients greater than 82 pounds. It offers greater patient stability, and best of all, you'll have greater visibility of patient's eyes and ET tube. As far as right or left side head profile positioning, that hasn't been clinically tested yet. So while the growing evidence points to advantages of prone positioning for COVID-19 patients, why not include the base cradle device as an option for COVID-19 patients? The face cradle prone support system consists of the base, the mirror platform, and cushion set. The mirror is an added measure of safety to keep periodic checks on patient's eyes and ET tube if patient is intubated. It is essential to patient care that the device be used under the direction of a clinician. It is important to frequently monitor the patient's neck, head, eyes, nose, and mouth to ensure that a safe position is maintained and the ET tube, if present, has not been kinked or displaced. To reduce the likelihood of skin abrasions or pressure ulcers, check patient's face frequently and adjust per hospital protocol. This slide is a reference collection of prone positioning for COVID-19 patients. Be sure to check out the last reference. 
a very compelling video of proning these patients at Columbia University Medical Center. 